Hello, you all should have just gotten an email from me that invites you to the teaching and learning calendar. So please go ahead and click add this calendar to your Google account. And what you're going to see are the events that the teaching and learning team is um, putting on. So I have teaching and learning calendar under, it's under my calendars because I can manage that calendar. You will have the calendar under other calendars, which means you can turn it on and off as you need to see it. Um, the teaching and learning calendar is yellow for me. You can go into the three dots and change the color if you need to. I do want to point out that with each event, there is a number before the title of the event, and that is how many subs that we're going to be asking for for that day. So if you're a principal or an admin and you're adding events to the teaching and learning calendar, please pay attention to how many subs might already be needed for that day and try to plan accordingly. Uh, sometimes the ready diagnostic window, it doesn't have numbers because it doesn't require subs. Um, the other thing I want you to know is if you have an event and you see that it's important and you want to put it on your calendar, you can click on the event, you can click on the three dots and say copy to my calendar. Now be careful because some of these things are only for adoption committees. Don't go to the K-5 ELA adoption committee meeting if you're not invited. Um, but if it is something else that's important, that diagnostic window, Again, you can add the go to the three dots and copy it to your calendar, and then you can turn the teaching and learning calendar off if you choose to do that. So teaching and learning calendar, check out all the activities that are happening in our district and um, pay attention to how many subs are needed that day. Hope that helps. Thanks.